It's a scene once unthinkable to Charles Murray's parents. Their son among an elite group of 40 students selected to receive the top honour in the New South Wales education system. An amazing young man who is indeed the first student from one of our schools for specific purposes. One of the first students ever on the autism spectrum to receive a Minister's Award for Excellence. Charlie was diagnosed with autism before he turned three. Years of therapy followed. At 16 he was regarded as having the academic ability of a kindergarten student. The level of communication was highly limited. There was only a, some gestures of what he wanted and what he needed. If I was being entirely honest, progress has been glacial. But then a breakthrough 18 months ago, which experts say was triggered by the emotion of his grandmother's funeral. We had a very long meltdown and in desperation, I said to him, help us help you. <laughs> Pen, paper and we had our very first conversation with our son. From that point on, Charlie's words and ideas have flowed and flourished with the help of his dedicated teachers at Medford's Hunter River Community School. He guides your hand to the position that the letters make. Now, at 18 years of age, Charlie has finally found his voice. Communication has changed my life for the best. It has saved my life. And with the help of a computer, these are his words. People just assume we are dumb and stupid. Mm. All people with autism are so smart and deserve respect even if they mm. cannot communicate. In fact, Charlie's now excelling in languages, along with extension to mathematics, biology and agriculture, and he scored 100% in the preliminary Extension 1 maths course. It was just, just by a matter of chance that we asked him, how oh, can you do maths? that he sort of suddenly exploded and <laughs> yes he can do maths <laughs> his teachers say it's a lesson for all educators to never underestimate anyone just because you mightn't be getting uh, feedback student feedback doesn't mean that they're not taking it in and we should never make assumptions Next term, Charlie will sit his HSC exams here. And while most students have had years to prepare, Charlie's had just 18 months. Then, hopefully, maths at university. We find ourselves in a situation where we're applying for university places. Something that was unthinkable, <laughs> that we never dreamt of, to be completely frank. And his other passion, disability advocacy. Jane Goldsmith, NBN News.